here on our Fishman Takeover Gristle Time in Orange Room on a Monday, the 14th. The 14th of March, Rooney. Can you dig it? Yeah, yeah. I gotta just share this quick with music friends. Where? Hither and Dam, Yon. That's where we share it. Special places, Hither and Dam, Yon. I'm gonna flip this over to the, to the chat so I can see what the hell people are saying. So I can see what the people are saying. What the people are saying. So I can see what people are saying. The people are say he he The people are say he he hing, ladies and gentlemen. Batter do bump boom, batter do bump boom. Let the gristle pounding commence, says Super Denny, and so we shall. I'm just gonna share this with music friends. Here they're in damn yawn. Oh, this frickin' frack. Sometimes this thing, it irks me so. I start to use potty talk. Sometimes this thing, it irks me so. Uh, a song called Gonna Use Some Potty Talk. It's not wrong. Let's rock, says, says uh, Gray, Gray M. Did I say that right? Did I say that right? I certainly hope I did. I certainly say I did. But I want to share this with a group of the Gristle Kingdom, a powerful host. The Gristle Kingdom, the host with the most. No, oh, that's freaking frack. No, oh, that's freaking frack. I want to share this to another page called... Uh, the Cock Marshall Trio, a place of power. Folks, what's going down out there? I hope everyone had a juicy and succulent weekend. Uh, we had a good weekend here at Cock Residence. Uh, so much triumph, so much rock. We did a live stream on Together on Saturday night. Uh, I went and... Uh, uh, actually, um, I knew two guys in two bands this weekend and went out to see uh, my buddy Steve Lukather in Toto and Neil Sean in Journey. And we engaged in a good old-fashioned rock show at uh, the Pfizer Forum. And that was good times. Good times and great old <laughs> Together, together is a website. It's actually uh, spelled number number two, and then gthr dot co, and it is a cool site that's interactive. So we play on there, but we can bring you on screen. Uh, each session lasts an hour. We do it pretty much every other weekend, but they have all kinds of people on there. I mean, the the roster is rather frightening. So if you like guitar oriented music, uh, they've got the who's who on there by Jiminy Jangle, and uh, good good clean fun. <laughs> Dylan and I mess around with this new song that we were just toying around with during the sound check, and we're gonna mess around with it a little bit for you here. Uh, this is a uh, an acoustic jazz master by Fender, but it's loaded with Fishman pickups, and I'm going through a Fishman uh, Aura preamp, Spectrum Aura preamp, into my Loudbox performer, uh, actually, and then out of the Spectrum into um, the board here, which is Tascam Model 24. Uh, into Logic and then out into your ear holes. So uh, there you go. We also have a little PA. We have a little Fishman SA330. Uh, is it X? Yes. I always say S. It's X.
yes. Joe, I'm doing good. Thank you very much. How are you doing out there in movie land? I can dig all that kind of tone. Travelers of the Orange Path. That's right, Mr. Mr. McBradster. <laughs> What's going down, Daddy-O? Here we are in the room of orange. It's good for you. A little bit of that St. Charles shuffle. St. Charles souffle, if you will. Red Shell, are you out there causing trouble? Uh, Red, he's a savage warrior of the night. Mm, 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 Red, he's a savage warrior of the day. Day and of the night, night and of the day. That's why Red, he likes it that way. What? Warrior of the night and day. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's Uncle Red, warrior of the night and of the day. 
Uh, great tune, Greg. Is that your own? That is indeed. Thank you very much. That's a little song called, uh, yes, sir. Are you going to be at Gear Fest? Rat, I don't, I would assume so. When is Gear Fest? It's always in June. It's always on my, like my birthday, June 20 something. Right? Uh, I haven't got my marching orders yet. I haven't got my marching orders yet. I haven't got my, Anyways, back to the, uh, was that, is that to mine? Yeah, that was a song called St. Charles Shuffle. There's a version of that on my Acoustic Gristle Soup record. There's nothing more tasty than an Acoustic Gristle Soup. Am I right or am I right? I'd love to do something there, Red Lead Manu. I shall find out um, probably pretty, I bet, I bet uh, I'm going to talk to Ryan Fitzsimmons and see what's going on with Gear Fest. Uh, Ryan Fitzsimmons, do we know what's going on at Gear Fest? You always need a whisper section in a good song. I don't know if you're aware of that. That sounds like fun to me, though. I'll tell you that. I'm in like Flynn, Rhett. Rhett, I'm in like Flynn. I like the fifth toggle switch position on these doggone uh, acoustasonic. Acoustasonic uh, Jazz Masters. The number five position, which would normally be the neck pickup. It's a nice blend of two guitars that I like quite a bit. I just leave it there, to be honest with you. That's a tongue twister, that one. That one's called Captain Comeover. Captain Comeover from the uh, crystal, acoustic crystal, acoustic crystal soup. That's my son back there, Dylan on the damn drums. Dylan on the drums, Dylan on the drums, Dylan on the damn drums, Dylan on the drums. Uh -huh. Dylan's got something in his pocket. The groove. That's right, Elbar. Thank you. He's got that groove in his pocket. 
It's good for your soul. Groove for your pocket. It's good for your soul. Good for your soul. That it is. Good for your soul. Hiddle diddle do. Ladies and gentlemen, nothing wrong with any of that. Nothing wrong with any of those types of activities. Like that, ladies and gentlemen. That's a song called Dirty Old B. Actually, we call it Night Owl Now, now. Because I'm a night owl now. What are the pickups? Where are the located? Lo, where are the pickups located on this beast? Well, there's some that are triggered. <laughs> triggered. I'm triggered. Uh, by the <clears throat> system under the bridge, under the saddle bridge. And there are some sounds that are loaded in there with a little preamp. And then there's this pickup back here as well, which gets some of the electric sounds. And uh, it's a savage device. I dig it a lot. And um, because it kind of plays like an electric, even though it's got acoustic strings on it. Uh, so, you know, wound G string and all that kind of stuff. I've got uh, 12 on the top and whatever the bottom one is. A regular acoustic light set on here. Uh, but it's just a little easier to play and it sounds good. Especially when Dylan and I get together jamming in this room and I got my regular acoustic, it's a little hard because of close quarters and so on and so forth to hear what's going on. But this one, I can crank this sucker up and it sounds good. Uh, can you dig it? Sassy Cat has some apple pie for later. That's damn delicious. He likes that pie. I don't blame you. It's so damn delicious. It's so damn delicious. Am I right or am I right? Of uh, 
of the Godzilla, but a little, maybe a little faster. <laughs> That's a little acoustic rendition of uh, an old tune of mine called, Hey, Godzilla, what the hell? My buddy John Seeger wrote the lyrics to that song. I don't think he put the what, hell, what the hell part. I put that in there. Hey, hey, Godzilla, what the hell? What's with the bad breath? Am I right or am I right? Feeling good today. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it again. This is uh, Fender Acoustasonic. Uh, Jazz Master, it's loaded with Fishman delightful sounds and uh, I'm going through a Fishman uh, Spectrum Aura preamp that's what primarily you're hearing in the room here I'm hearing the uh, Loudbox Performer which is right behind me there and I'm also hearing a little bit over here in Dylan's room here you can hear a little bit of the SA330X which is coming out of the back of this device and uh, I gotta tell you it feels good it feels good, it feels right Saturday night the hotel detective, well, damn it, he's outside. 
Mmm, yeah. Can you dig it out there? In movie lands. It's all good. I remember learning this song a long time ago, and uh, we like to do it over there. It's a little Bob Johnson song, as opposed to Howard Johnson. Howard Johnson was a whole different dude. Robert Johnson was a different, different fella altogether. You know what I'm saying? I've got rambling. I've got rambling all on my mind. Lord, I got rambling. I've got rambling all on my mind. Hate to leave. Pretty baby, but she treats me so unkind. I got mean things, I got mean things all on my mind. I got mean things. I mean things all on my mind Had to leave here pretty baby But you treat me so unkind I'm going down to the station Catch the first mail train I see I'm going down to the station yeah. Catch the first mail train I see yeah. I got the blues about me so and so and her son's got the blues about me
I've got rambling. Lord, I got rambling all on my mind. I've got rambling. I've got rambling all on my mind. Hey, to leave my pretty baby, but she treats me so unkind. bit of that um, a little bit of that uh, Robert Johnson I put I messed with the changes a little bit at the end there I don't know if you saw that uh, can you dig it and come to dig it but can you dig it my come a dig it how can you dig it I come a dig it dig it mm, it's good for your it's good for your corns it's the kind of blues that's good for your corns I shouldn't joke about corns. I guess they're very painful, but they sound funny. Um, and the corns, and the corns, and the corns, and the corns. Mmm, it's good for you. How you doing out there, you haul? Good morning from New Zealand. Well, good morning to you, Christopher. Have you seen Gandalf lately? I know he hangs out in those, the, the that neck of the woods, or uh, Aragorn, uh, or Gimli. Throw me, toss me. Toss me. Yeah. It's better than the gout. Right on. Corn polyps. Lord have mercy. Do I have any pets? Yes, of course. I've got cats. They've been sung about in song. Luna Girl is a song about a cat. I have two Bengal cats, Luna Girl and Bilbo. Uh, it's just Luna, but I call her Luna Girl, and I call them Bilbo Cat. Luna Girl and Bilbo Cat. Um, although my nicknames for them at 4 o'clock in the morning change depending on the level of sleep and the persistence of their bellowing. Uh, it can change quite a bit, quite a bit, quite a bit, do, 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 quite a bit, quite a bit. Uh, I can't even dig it. What's that? Acoustic little feet. Acoustic little feet. Um, those are a lot of words in those songs, Dylan. What they are. A lot of words in those songs. They get to. Oh, we could do a. crazy and with the right medication we won't be lazy old folks boogie down on the phone our wheelchairs they were locked on and on we'll pair off pacemakers with matching alarms give us just one more chance to spin one more yarn and you know that you're over the hill When your mind makes a promise That your body can't fill Old folks boogie Boogie way well Cause to us our thoughts As good as a thrill Back at the home No time is our own The facilities there I'll roll out on loan. The bank's foreclosed and your bankruptcy showed and your credit is reached an all time low. But you know that you're over the hill 
When your mind makes a promise that your body can't feel great sugar. Try to get a rise from your atrophied muscle, but the nerve in your thigh, it's just a quivered and fizzle. But you know that you're over the hill. When your mind makes a promise that your body can't fill, and you know that you're over the hill. When your mind makes a promise, that your body can't feel Oh, folks, boogie Boogie, we will Cause to us our thoughts is good as a thrill And fizzled. That was a little uh, song by our buddy Paul Barrer uh, of the Little Feet. Richie Hayward was a beast. Bless him. He was a cool dude as well. He was a cool dude. <laughs> song. Put on your gristle shoes. I put on your gristle shoes. Everyone. Can you dig it all? Folks, can you dig the jams we're throwing down today here in Orange Room? Dylan back there on the damn drums. Don't forget I got my martyr shirt on. We're going to start doing a... Um, uh, a quarterly house gig down there in Chicago. First one, the next one we're going to be doing is May 19th. And our buddy Joel Patterson is going to be on that gig. And it'll be Cock Marshall Trio with Joel Patterson. Can you dig that? So uh, it'll be up for sale soon. You all come and let the good times roll down there in Chi Town. Chi Town.
That started off with a little song called Dylan the Villain, and then I went into Isla Rose. Uh, another tune of, uh, yeah. Uh, that version of Isla Rose is on, uh, the acoustic version is on the Acoustic Gristle Soup record, available wherever you indulge in musical activity. You can certainly get it through my website, get a hard copy of it. That's the way, that's the way real fans do it. I'm just kidding. Whatever. I appreciate whatever people do about anything. <laughs> I appreciate whatever people do about whatever. Concerning my jams. Concerning my jams. Concerning my jams. Concerning my jams. Folks, again, I'm using this uh, uh, Acoustasonic Jazzmaster, which is loaded with Fishman guts. That's the way they come. Fishman and Fender worked on this project together. I particularly like this number five position of the Tagus, which I pretty much just keep it there the whole time when I'm doing my acousticizing. And I'm going out of this guitar into uh, the Fishman Spectrum Aura preamp, and out of there it's going into the board. That's what you're hearing. What I'm hearing in the room, it's going through this uh, lot box performer, and then I've got an XLR coming out of the back of that into channel two of the SA330X, which is a line array kind of standalone PA that's in the other room, so Dylan can hear it a little bit more as well in the other room. Oh, you want Nubby? We could do that. Oh, hell. I'm gonna do a little bit of that Nubby. I just sang this tune on the radio the other day. That house, Nubby's house is almost up for, I think they sold it. They, they remodeled the hell out of that house. I gotta tell you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, this is a song with a, uh, done with the Calk Marshall Trio. It's on the record from the Upna. And this particular song was written as I was observing the activities. There was a gentleman, older gentleman, that lived across the street. I never really knew him. Apparently his name was Nubby. He was an older gentleman when we moved in five years ago. And he, he uh, had to move out of his house because he was uh, uh, debilitated. He was like 90-some years old when he passed away, bless him. But... Um, uh, he was an, an eccentric soul in the fact that he would often be seen sweeping his front sidewalk with great vigor. He kept the sidewalk very clean, sweeping the hell out of it. And at the end of the night when he was going to bed, he would put the broom handle over the entrance of his, of his, uh, of his porch, kind of like, we're closed. And um, anyways, he, after he left, uh, his family uh, came by with a variety of vehicles, and they took stuff out of their day and night for weeks. And I, I, I I mean, appliances, boxes. And all I could assume was that Nubby must have been a hoarder, man. I don't know. I'm just an observer. I'm not a judger. I'm not judging hoarders. I'm just observing. And uh, this is a little thing called... <laughs> Nubby must have been a hoarder man. They've been taking his stuff out day and night ever since he went away. Well, a clown car house it must have been. I had no idea how he did it all in. Now they're taking it all away And a U-Haul They could have brought ten semis And it wouldn't have been enough To haul this stuff away Well, the kids and the cousins And the grandkids too. There's enough for them And enough for you Come and take the stuff away
Crosby had the cleanest sidewalk in town. Now he and his broom are nowhere to be found. It moved on to higher ground. Nubby must have been a hoarder man. That's the thing about it. <laughs> well, a clown car house it must have been. Ladies and gentlemen. So, as a result, I'm going to do a muddy water. Satisfied, I just can't keep from. Well, I feel like slamming a pistol in your face. Oh, graveyard, gonna be your resting place. Lord, I'm trouble. I'll be all worried, man. Well, I just can't be satisfied I just can't keep on
gentlemen, a little bit of that Mud Waters. You guys having fun out there? It is Monday, the 14th. The Monday, the 14th. My dad would have been 99 yesterday. You believe that? Would have been 99 years of age yesterday. That's crazy talk, ladies and gentlemen. Can you dig that kind of talk? Can you dig that kind of tone? Can you dig it all? Can you dig it all? Can you hum diddle 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 hum diddle I? Well, folks, it's about that time. We sure appreciate you hanging out with us. Uh, dinner time, guys. I, I, I suggest Thai food tonight. Well, that's funny you should mention that, Rich, because usually we do what's called Mekong Mondays, our favorite Mekong cafe, home of three foods, the Thai, the Lao, and the Vietnamese. And uh, although my wife was saying, I don't think I can do it. She, cause I, I can't do it because we actually switched it up last week and it was Mekong Wednesday. I could do Mekong like every night. You know what I'm saying? It's so damn delicious. Uh, it's so damn delicious. Am I right or am I right? Don't. It's so damn delicious. The brat stop. <laughs> brat stop. Brat stop. Brat stop. 
So I don't know what we're having tonight. I think we, we had, I don't know what was discussed. Uh, folks, just so you know, again, I was playing this, um, this Fender guitar, which is a uh, Acoustasonic Jazz Master. And uh, the electronics on all the Acoustasonics were a collaboration between Fishman and Fender. They're Fishman products. And I like the number five position on this toggle switch. I used the balance between uh, the dreadnought and I always forget. But anyways, that's number five toggle switch is what I used. And I'm going into the Fishman uh, Spectrum Aura preamp. Uh, it's coming out of there into the mains. Into the mains. Listen to me. It's going into the uh, Model 24 and into um, um, Logic and then out through the inner Googles. And in the room, I'm actually listening to... Uh, Loudbox performer going out into that, and then Dylan's listening to the room of Fishman SA330X. So it's all good, clean fun. Can you dig it? Will you dig it? Can you dig it? Will you dig it? Uh, there you go. If you ever get to Bangkok, I will take you all to dinner. Man, that sounds fantastic. I was in Bangkok once, and we did have an extraordinary dinner. I remember that well. Um, we feasted. It was glorious. That was about, I think that was 2000, 2002 I was there. It was a long time ago. 20 years. 20 years ago I was in Thailand. A rabbit didn't do. Might be fun to do an acoustic version of
like that. A little acoustic Luna Girl. That was pretty fun, Dylan. He says yes. He says as he is, yes. Uh, thank you. I'm glad you dug that. Uh, folks, we'll see you on the flippity flop. That's Dylan Cock back there in the drums. That's my boy. I'm Gregory S. Cock Esquire. This is our Fishman Takeover. Gristle time, if you will. And I am using this Fender guitar, which is outfitted with Fishman Electronics, uh, as do all the Acoustasonic guitars from Fender. And uh, there you have it. We had a good old time today. Uh, we'll be back on our Fishman live stream this Friday with Turn of the Burner on bass. I'll be electrifying, and Dylan will be on drums. Of course, I'll be wildwooding tomorrow and Thursday at 3 p.m. Central on my channels of choice. Thank you very much, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Have a pleasant remainder of your week. I like that song. What's the name of it? That's called Luna Girl. That's on uh, uh, Cock Marshall Trio record called From the Upna. Luna Girl. There it is. All right, folks. We'll see you later.